fall, an avalanche of annual franchises hit store shelves. Madden, FIFA, NBA 2K, Call of Duty, the list goes on. But this year, a franchise that's consistently put out a title every year for over two decades will be absent. I'm talking about the WWE 2K. The pro wrestling juggernaut signature video game series will not have a new release for 2020. That's because its previous entry, WWE 2K20, was nothing short of a disaster. Somehow, somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Oh no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, that might have just broken something. Today on Game Files, we're going to take a look at what went wrong with WWE 2K20. And we're going to go way back in time for this one, because the seeds for this awful game were sown all the way back in the year of 1993. That's when a small studio called Yooks was founded in Japan. One of its first two games was called Tower Move Pro Wrestling, a wrestling game that became a bestseller thanks to its 3D characters and simple gameplay. Yooks continued to release sequels to Power Move Pro Wrestling throughout the original PlayStation's life cycle. This attracted the attention of publisher THQ, who were on the lookout for a new developer for their WWF-branded games. They approached the Japanese developer, signed a contract, and in the year 2000, Yooks released its first branded game, WWF SmackDown. And for the next 12 years, Yooks was the sole developer of the WWF and later WWE series of video games. Come 2013, however, things began to change. It started when publisher THQ went bankrupt and the WWE franchise was bought by Take-Two Interactive. That same year, Yooks was no longer the only developer on the series as American studio Visual Concepts was brought in to help out. And like other annualized franchises, WWE's deal with 2K was exclusive. There was no competition in pro wrestling games, so there was little incentive to innovate. As a result, successive games began to feel stale in the eyes of fans. This didn't sit well with the developers at Yooks, and they weren't quiet about it. In early 2019, Yooks senior vice president and producer Hiromi Furata said that following in an interview with Video Game Chronicle, we are also aware that our creators are beginning to lose sight of their passion and confidence and becoming focused only on completing assigned tasks. That's not the direction Yooks wants to go in. Players are expecting something new every time we release a game and we feel like we haven't achieved what we really wanted to do. Those are some bold words for any developer to say to their publisher, and the discontent festered in the following months. In August 2019, 2K Sports announced that Yooks would no longer develop WWE games. Instead, supporting studio Visual Concepts would take the range. It's important to note that WWE 2K19 was two months away from launch when this news hit. In hindsight, this was a bad sign. It didn't help that little info was being shared about WWE 2K20 by anyone. There were a few previews and fewer trailers compared to usual, and yet Visual Concept said that this was a chance to reinvigorate the series. Turns out, Yuke's two decades of work on the series gave them an understanding of how to get the most out of everything. Visual Concepts, despite assisting for six years, had to tangle with everything Yuke's had built and the developers simply could not handle everything by themselves, resulting in the mess we know today. So what's next for WWE 2K? Well, the latest entry in the series was canceled due to a combination of poor sales, poor reception, and COVID-19. As for Yooks, the studio has big plans. It's going to launch its own rival wrestling IP to reinvigorate its staff. It won't have the WWE brand name, which means it's going to be an uphill battle. While its quality is still up in the air, at the very least, I don't think their next game can be any worse than the dumpster fire that is WWE 2K20.